back to Archetype Origins. My name is Jenny and we are at the Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center in Taiwan to attend Computex 2024. We're going to be showing you a lot of cool new things that are up and coming and then some really cool tech. So see you later. On day one of Computex, Cooler Master kindly invited us to join in a speed building competition featuring their TD500 Max, which has pre-installed AIO, power supply, and fans in order to help PC builders build PCs faster. As Ben and I build so many PCs, we really welcome the challenge and are excited to see how long it takes us to build in this case. Once you're officially done, done, hands in the air, we'll stop your timer, and then we'll come over with a display to check and make sure. Okay. okay, sounds good. Three, two, one, begin! Oh. Alright, go into my board first. I.O. Shoe, can I forget about the I.O. Shoe? I.O. Shoe always have to go in first. I O S U, I O S U. Okay. SSD, 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 SSD. SSD. Oh, I like this screwdriver. Yeah, the M.2 screws are very small. Probably can't see me over here. Let me put this on down. Now it's time to slot in the CPU. Come on. Now don't forget this, because I'll hate to forget about this thing. Put this at the back, like that. But it doesn't stick, so we'll probably have to do it later on. I don't know where the rest of the screws is. I can't find the screws. Lossus is where? Lossus is where? I don't see the motherboard screw. Where is the motherboard screw? I don't see the motherboard screw. This is how it opens. Come look at this. All the screws are right here. Slot the motherboard in. This hasn't gone all the way. So many screws. So many screws. Oh, here come the worst nightmare. Come the worst nightmare. This is the time I wish I had electric screwdriver. I think it's on the wrong way. Wrong side. Wrong side. Switch hand because my hands are tired. Oh, this way is easier. No spreading, just a dot, okay? Don't forget this. These are DDR5. Wrong RAM. Just a RAM needed? Okay. Have it's, you finished everything except the RAM? I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Yeah, you're good? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty good with like the speed and stuff. Okay, so you feel good about it. Yeah, yeah. I'll say right. so. <laughs> well done. Thumbs up, we got a thumbs up so far. All right, we're Thank gonna you. go check it. Overall, I think I did like an okay job because obviously, you know, in speed build, you can't really do like cable management and stuff. But I think I gave my build like a three out of 10. In terms of speed wide, I think I'm maybe like an eight, not the fastest, but 
I'm not slow, you know. But hey, guys, this are, this bill is not going to you, so it's just a competition. So don't, don't, don't yell at me, please. I know this is just a speed bill. It's just a contest. I'm trying to win here, okay? Unfortunately, I made a little mistake here. The power switch is supposed to go to the other side, but um, I made a small mistake and plug it into the left one, so it didn't boot up. But it's okay. It is what it is. A few moments later. Ah! <laughs> oh, ass up. Howdy out, we're at the hype booth. We got the height Y70 Ti, so touch infinite. It's coming in out in more and more colors. White, of course. Look at the pink! Strawberry milk! It looks delicious. And then there's also blueberry milk. I don't know if they're gonna come out with more colors, but I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we see more colors. But yeah, everything's pink. Inside, PCIe. The blue's nice too, but pink is just better. It makes me wanna get a bubble tea. <gasps> Can't forget my favorite flavor of milk tea. Taro milk! The actual PC's over there, so a lot of people are looking at it. That's how you know it's a cute color. Height Y70s aside, we also have some new fans coming out. So if you are familiar with like the thick AIO, they have thick fans now. It comes in a 240 and a 360 form factor. So it's more user friendly. It's just one cable. So if it's like your first time building a PC, you don't have to worry about how to daisy chain your fans together. I think this is going to be really, really good for entry level or like people who are just getting into building PCs. So just one cable and then everything goes into the hub. And then the hub is powered by the Hype Nexus software. So everything should be able to talk together, um, including these lights. So if you're into like more RGB, these ones are really cool. RGB noodles, they're little noodles, but the QRGB noodles, so you can see that they have daisy chained them. I think they said you can put like, was it 16 or 18 in a row? I don't foresee many people using that many. I don't foresee many people going up to 16 or 18, but you can daisy chain them. I think what we're gonna see is some people taking these lights outside of their PC, routing it around to their, routing it around their setups, around their desk. So really, really easy to use and a lot of potential here. And then for those of you who are more minimalist and maybe don't want the big screen from the Q60, then you can get this one. So it's more low key. The light is shining inside your PC case. So I think it's a really nice lighting effect where it's not so in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit calmer of this aesthetic. And then this is like just removable like this. It's really bright. But I don't know if they're gonna come out with more things for you to attach on here. I would love to see more. The fans that we looked at earlier also come in black. So, so far two colorways, the black and then the panda. So the panda's black and white. I would love to see them do like a full, full white, but hopefully we'll see that in the near future. So previously the thick Q60 only came in a 240 form factor, so a lot of people said they wanted 360 and height delivered. So we can see here, now it comes in the 360 form factor. They said they've made it more efficient, so should have even better cooling. Someone from height told me that they expect it to be the best cooling AIO on the market, so we'll see. Ooh, setup goals, look at this cutie. I think it's Honkai Star Rail. Yes, it's characters. Maybe a collab coming up soon. Exciting stuff. And then they have the height keyboard. So height keyboard's pretty cool. Height keyboard's really cute. You can see that everything's synced up too. So everything's on the Nexus software. Keyboard's talking to the lights. This thing you can change, these little guys. And they have like a bunch of other options. So wood, plastic, metal, customization dreams. Welcome guys, we're now at the Lian Li booth. They have a couple of cool stuff. Uh, I want to show you guys some of the cases and the fence and stuff. So let's get into it. So this right here is the O11 Vision Compact. It combines the O11 Vision and the O11 Dynamic Evo together into one case and it becomes a compact. It's smaller than the Evo and the Vision. So you can switch between the top glass panel and also the mesh top panel. 
in between, so you kind of get like a two in one kind of thing. So you buy and vision, and you get Evo and vision together. And they also now support the BTF. So if you can see here, there's like little cutouts for your BTF motherboard. Uh, VNV is like focusing on BTF nowadays. So a lot of the cases now they have like BTF on the casing. Even though it's smaller than the Vision, it's still able to fit up to three, six, nine, eleven. 120 mil fans in the chassis, which is pretty cool. And one more thing, there's also like a massive cutout on the top here. So if you want to put like a 12 inch LCD display on the top, you have like a little cutout to like route the cables and stuff. So it looks pretty neat. So this is a Lancu 217. The reason why they name it this is because there's two 170 mil fans in the front right here. So these fans are able to do uh, reverse. So there's a button on the top where you can push it and it will start stopping and reversing the airflow this way with the reverse airflow it's easy for you to clean your pc this case also feature real wood on the edge and also the front here with a price of 129.99 i believe msrp but we'll see and it also supports btf these are the lian li lanku 207 this is like a more budget friendly version kind of case uh it has two 140 mil rgb fans in the front and there is also two 120 mil Pretty soft and uh, at the bottom for uh, your GPU to get all the airflow needed from the bottom. Power supply is actually moved to the front of the chassis, so the fans here are not blocking the airflow coming out from the bottom. So this is the Lian Li A3 Micro ATX PC case. By default, it comes with this plastic front panel with a mesh panel. With uh, the upgraded options are the actual uh, glass panel and also the real wood wood slat kind of feel uh, front panel. The power supply location in this chassis is actually adjustable so you can move it up and down by the length of your graphics card or also the length of your AIO on top. Next thing here we have the Lian Li Edge power supply. This one is actually you can see it here. The fan and the power plug is kind of like the same direction. Instead of here, they remove it and then put it here. So this one worked really well with the O11 Evo case. You can see right there. I'll put it on B-roll later. One of my favorite features, they also include the USB 2.0 slot over here so you don't have to purchase external USB 2.0 hub just to get all the other accessories connected. This is like one of the best power supply I've seen so far in Computex. And the power supply also comes with a pure white cable with cable comms like that. Probably don't have to purchase any more cable comms like the extension and stuff like that. It's just included. So that's kind of nice. Now I know a lot of you guys like the Lian Li fans and the Strymer. They released the brand new SLV3 and the Strymer V3. So what's new about this Strymer is now instead of doing all that USB 2.0 hub and connect it to the motherboard, you are now using a wireless receiver and you plug it into the back of the motherboard and connect all the fans, uh, including Strymers, wirelessly with this single dongle, which is pretty neat. Back here and I'll show you how these fans are powered on. As you can see at the back here, there are no USB hub for the fan or the strimers because they're all powered with this one single wireless receiver at the back of the motherboard right here. And if you're familiar with the TL series fans, the TL and the TL LCD, now you're able to connect the TL series fans with the TL LCD together in one single chain. Now you'll be able to put up to eight chains together to connect to one wireless receiver. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a total of six chains here for one receiver. And if you have more than that, you probably need a second one. Now, if you're familiar with the Lian Li Galahad 360 LCD AIO, they made an upgraded version. This is called the Lian Li Hydro Shift 360 S AIO. They only come with the 360 version, but let me show you some of its key features. We still have that boxy kind of looking LCD screen on the AIO, but the key feature here is the cover that uh, lets you cover the tube on the AIO, uh, makes a cleaner look. It goes really well with the BTF motherboard. With the tube cover, it really kind of hides the AIO tube over here. Instead of the traditional way where it goes all the way to the top of the uh, radiator over here, it kind of goes to the back and tuck behind the radiator. So you can't really see the tubes over here, especially in black, you can barely see the tube. It's just two little tube coming out from the top here. Super cool. 
During Computex, we stopped at a lot of booths and talked to a lot of people and met with a lot of brands. Unfortunately, we just weren't able to have enough time to get to each booth and film all the products. With so many new products hitting the market, there was just too much to cover. There's also a lot of new up and coming brands that haven't hit the market quite yet that are expected to come to the US later this year. We saw some really cool AIOs like this panoramic one from Triex and also ROG. There's also a lot of cool components to help you customize your PC just a little bit more towards your taste. Also, a lot more brands are jumping into water cooling, which we're really excited for. On top of seeing new products and meeting with brands, we also got to meet a lot of creators and some insane PC modders. The level of skill and creativity that these people put into their builds is mind blowing. Definitely some next level stuff. If you want to see some custom mods from our new friend AK Mods, we also did a video where we walked around his studio and did a more in-depth look on some of his previous mods. It was such an honor for us to be able to attend Computex this year. So let us know what you're looking forward to as far as new products and we'll see if we can reach out to the brands and maybe get our hands on some of them to do an in-depth look on our channel. Thanks again for watching Archetype Origins and we'll see you next time. Toodles! Oh shit, I forgot what to say. Okay,